Hyundai's smallest car impresses with a refined ride and loads of standard features. Now in its fifth iteration, the 2018 Accent gives off a more post-grad vibe, less college freshman than the last-gen Accent. Its new cascading grille and handsome projector headlamps with LED accents make the Hyundai look ready for its next job interview. Out back there are nicely sculpted LED taillights that are reminiscent of the larger Sonata. Opt for the top-level limited model and you get some swanky 17-inch wheels that give it a more assertive stance on the road. Dimensionally, the accent has gained an inch or so here and there, the 2018 model is 0.6 inches longer, 1.2 inches wider, and has 0.4 inches added to its wheelbase. In person, the larger size makes the new accent look more planted and better proportioned than the old one. Due to poor sales, the hatch variant won't be returning for 2018, only its Kia Rio cousin will offer the five-door setup. The added width increases total interior wiggle room, so much so, the EPA now classifies the Accent as a compact car, rather than a subcompact. Compared to its classmates, the Accent's total interior volume of 103.9 cubic feet is more than the Ford Fiesta's 97.9 and Toyota Yarezia's 99.4, but slightly less than the Nissan Versus 105.1 cubic feet. Anything above 100 cubic feet is classified as a compact sedan, according to the EPA. Beyond its roominess, the Accent's interior is pretty straightforward. Whether you are pushing 80 years old or just snagging your driver's license at age 16, you should have little trouble operating the controls. There's no BS, knobs and buttons for climate and radio controls, four analog gauges behind the steering wheel and a USB drive with a convenient storage bin right below it in the center console. Despite my preference for the more sophisticated limited trim, the base SE trim isn't as much of a penalty box as you might think. Although hard plastic dominates the interior on all accents, the little Hyundai makes up for it with lots of standard features. Even the base accent gets a 5-inch touchscreen, rear view camera, cruise control, and steering wheel audio controls. Step up to the mid-grade cell trim and you get niceties like a 7-inch center touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities, automatic headlights, two USB drives, and rear disc brakes, as opposed to the SE's drums. Let's be real, the Accent's 130 horsepower and 119 pound-feet of torque isn't blistering, but the car doesn't feel like it craves more power. The 6-speed automatic is eager to downshift and makes all of those 130 ponies easily accessible. A 6-speed manual is also available, but only on the base SE model. The stick shift is very easy to operate with a light clutch, but isn't particularly engaging with its long throws and bulky shift knob, just get the automatic. Speaking of not particularly engaging, that pretty much sums up my thoughts about the Accent's handling characteristics. Steering is light, but doesn't communicate much to the driver on what the two front wheels are doing. Torque vectoring between the front wheels will help cornering performance and traction going in and out of a corner. On the curvy mountain roads Hyundai set us out on, the Accent took corners with ease, despite the lack of road feel.